Hi, I'm Audrey here with Green Acres Nursery and Supply, and today we're going to be mounting up houseplants. So, mounting up houseplants is another wonderful way to display foliage in your home. You can mount up just about everything, but epiphytic plants tend to be the best. Epiphytic plants are plants that, in their native habitat, they grow on trees. So right here we have an example of some Tillandsia that are glued onto this little wood post. You can hang this right on your wall, it'll look super cute. Um, we've got some other examples. We have this gorgeous Hoya tricolor. Super, super cute. You can hang it right on your wall or prop it up against a wall on your desk or really anywhere you like. So another one that we have for you guys is this bromeliad. This is a terrestrial bromeliad, so normally it is grown in soil, but you can still mount it up on a board. It's super pretty. And then today, we're gonna be showing you guys how to mount them all up. So we have this gorgeous Hoya macrophylla, and we're gonna be putting that on a board today. First step is we're gonna remove the majority of the soil from our root ball. So, just gonna dump it out. Just kinda gently take all that soil off. To hold the twine that we're going to use in place, you can use twine or fishing line, but just for visual purposes today we're going to be using twine. We've got little um, finishing nails in our wood. So what I did is I just traced a circle about the size of the pot that I was using, so about a four inch circle, and then I just tacked in the finishing nails um, at a slight angle to kind of hold the twine in just like a little bit better. So then after that is all done, you take some hydrated sphagnum moss. Um, I prefer to use hydrated sphagnum moss. You don't have to, but I find it's a little bit easier to work with. So just put a nice layer in the center of your circle, and then we can take our plant, get some moss, and cover, let's see, and figure out what you want to be the top, or the, the front, or the back, so I think like that. Take more hydrated moss, wrap the, the front of the root ball, and then kind of just press it down gently, and then there you go. You can put a little bit more at the bottom to make it secure so none of that remaining soil kind of leaks at the bottom when you water your when you water your mounted board. Keep it all in the circle. And then we can start with our tongue. So you just take a side and tie a knot. Let's see. Sometimes it's easier to tie the knot ahead of time. And you want to leave a little tail on one end. Don't doesn't necessarily have to be this long, but you do want to leave quite a bit of a tail so that you can secure the other end of your twine once you're done wrapping. Okay, sometimes it does slip off a little bit. Just gotta press it on there, and there we go. Okay, now while holding that one end down. You're just gonna crisscross over, find your nails, loop around, and then bring it back to another nail. Loop around, and you're just gonna continue that process all over your moth ball. And it doesn't have to be super tight. You don't want it to be super tight. You don't wanna cut off any oxygen to your roots or anything. Or damage any roots. We used mm, probably about three feet of twine, maybe, yeah, it's just about three feet of twine to get that. You can either cut your twine or kind of tuck 
Okay. Tuck the tails back in. There, we're never there. There we are. So we've got our little wrapped up guy. And then to cover the twine that's remaining, because it, although we did make a cute little star, you can always hide it. Just stuffing a little extra moss underneath one of the one of the pieces of twine. Of course, if you don't like any sticks in your moss, just remove those as you go as well. Okay. There you go, and then just kind of brush off extra loose moss that's hanging around. Tuck the top in just a little bit. Caring for these guys is pretty simple. You're just gonna water them about once a week, um, maybe even once every two weeks, depending on the location of your plant. Um, brighter light, of course, is gonna need a bit more water. And the lighting requirements, again, depends on your plant. So for this guy, we're gonna wanna give him very, very bright, indirect light, and that'll help him get new leaves coming. We've got lots of new growth on this guy, so that's something to look forward to. Um, but if you had something like um, a skindapsis or a potho, something that requires lower light, of course take that into consideration when choosing the place of your plant. But yeah, and then to water, really, really easy. You can just bring it over to your kitchen sink, spray it down with your hose, um, or you can fill up a big bowl of water and saturate that root ball in, um, in water. And, leave it to drip dry for a little while and there you go you can put it right back where it was